Welcome to Amit Things YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to install the current Python version on Mac. With that, we will also see how to run our first program in Python. For that, we will download and install Python. Then we will download and install a free and open source PyCharm ID. After that, we will connect the Python interpreter so that we can run our first Python program successfully at the end. So guys, let us start. At first, we will download and install the current Python version. Let's begin. Go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any web browser. On Google type Python and uh, press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. Click on it. That would be your python.org. Okay. Now to download the current version, keep the mouse cursor on downloads. And now the current version will be visible for Mac OS. Click on it. Here it is. Now the package for Python downloaded. Right click and click open to begin the installation. Minimize this. Now the installation will begin. Okay. Click continue. Click continue again. And this is the license. Click continue. Agree to the license agreement. Now you need to select the disk. Click continue. Now this will take 176 MB. You can also change the installation location, but I'll keep the default. Click install. Enter the admin password and click install software. Now it will install. And now, now you can see it got installed successfully and this is the location. It automatically opened it. To run your first program, you can directly click here. You can open the IDLE. IDLE is an ID to run Python programs. Okay. I'll click close and I'll move to bin. What is this? The installer we downloaded. We don't need it now. So I'll just click on move to bin. It will get deleted. Now here is the location I told you. Minimize. Now let us verify the installation of Python. Go to the spotlight search. Click on it. After clicking type terminal. Click on it to open. Type the command. Python 3 space hyphen hyphen version and press enter you can see we successfully installed the current version also try for pip also go for pip pip 3 space hyphen hyphen version and press enter pip is a package manager to download install and manage python packages and libraries now you can see we also installed the current pip version okay in this video, we will learn how we can download and install the current PyCharm version on Mac. So we will be downloading the open source PyCharm Community Edition on our Mac system. With that, we will also run a sample Python project after installing PyCharm. Let's begin. At first, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any web browser. On Google type, PyCharm and press enter. Now click on the official website. PyCharm is owned by JetBrains and it is having two versions. Click on download here. Now you can see the PyCharm professional version is paid, but we will go below and go for the PyCharm community edition, which is open source, built on open source. Okay. 
just click download now the download started let's wait it's 565 MB let's wait we have successfully downloaded the PyCharm community edition installer right click and uh, click open minimize now now you need to just drag it to this it's written I'll just drag it here okay here it is copying okay now open applications here it is PyCharm double click click open now click on new project now we will connect our PyCharm with Python so that we can run our first project here is the path of our project okay let me name it to this will also create your first project here it is and the location of the project is the following okay click on python version now go to your uh, python 3.12 detected we already installed it okay now click create we have created our first project here it is now you can also check the connection click here PyCharm preferences now go to your project here will be your project project name ok click on project interpreter here now you can see your interpreter which you have set before ok so it's fine click ok now let us uh, add a new python file this is your project remember Amit project right click new python file type the name of the file let's say I'll type demo when I'll press enter it will automatically add the .py extension why because the python file is by default selected so I'll just press enter press enter and here it is ok now I'll directly print something quickly let's say my name it's not visible go here click preferences here in go to editor go to editor font and change the size of the font ok I'll just change it to let's say 16 and I'll press ok now you can see the font size increased in this way you can also increase it now to run it first file save all right click run and this will run your first python program on pycharm id project also ok we printed it so guys in this way we can easily download and install the current PyCharm version 